17, write an equation of the line passing through negative 4, 10. And perpendicular to the line y equals 1 half x plus 5. Now, if two lines are perpendicular, keep in mind their slopes are opposite reciprocals. The slope of the given line is 1 half. So the opposite reciprocal slope of that would be negative 2 over 1, or just negative 2. That's the only thing I need from that equation. I don't care about anything else. All I know is that when I write my new equation, I want a slope of negative 2. So start your equation, y equals negative 2x. What you don't know is the y-intercept. We can find it, though, because remember, they give us a point on the line, which means if it's on the line, it has to be a solution to the equation. When I substitute 10 for y and negative 4 for x, make this work. Find the y-intercept. 10 equals negative 2 times negative 4 is 8, plus what? One step fencer. Subtract 8. We find out our y-intercept is 10 minus 8, or 2. You've got your two pieces. The slope, the perpendicular slope, or the opposite reciprocal slope, was negative 2. The y-intercept is going to be 2. Put it together. y equals our slope, negative 2, times x, plus our y-intercept, in this case, is 2. You can always check your work. When I put in negative 4 for 10, I better get, I'm sorry, negative 4 for x, I better get 10 for y. Negative 2 times negative 4, that's 8. 8 plus 2, that's 10. That's what I was supposed to get. And we've checked our answer.